Hello there and welcome to a video where we'll uh, talk about the three black crows. This is a bearish uh, three bar reversal pattern that uh, can indicate a reversal of a uptrend. The uh, pattern is uh, composed uh, by three consecutive uh, down closes. All of these bars are large body bars when compared to the average in the uh, look back period. So uh, the shadows are also relevant. They uh, need to be of moderate size when uh, compared to the uh, body itself. Also the second bar here needs to open within the range of the first bar. Likewise, the third bar has to open within the range of the second bar. The three black crows pattern does also not overlap with uh, any preceding three black crows uh, patterns. The uh, shadow requirement is uh, user selectable. You can uh, define how large or small the uh, VIX or the shadows uh, should be when compared to the body size of the candle. And uh, also this requirement of having the second bar uh, open within the range of the first bar and likewise the third bar open within the range of the second uh, is subject to what we call the one tick rule. So this indicator was uh, developed to work on intraday charts. So where the candle opens with respect to the prior close is um, sometimes a matter of chance. Sometimes it will open directly at the close, sometimes one tick above or one tick below. And so we have allowed the three black cross pattern to plot, even though it opens one tick below the close of the first and the second bar. Uh, for now, we can uh, look at this one here, three black cross pattern starting to plot uh, in a downtrend. And uh, we see we have uh, three large body bars with uh, moderate uh, shadow sizes uh, when compared to the body ranges. And also if we have a closer look at this uh, second candle, we see the one tick rule at play. It's actually opening one tick below the close of uh, the first bar. And so that is what I meant by this one tick rule, that uh, pattern is accepted. Uh, you also see the trend definition uh, is uh, defined by a internal swing trend indicator. This is displaying the minor trend. So it's based on a uh, minimum deviation threshold. In this example, we're using the ATR on a uh, 72 bar look back period. The deviation multiplier is uh, 4.5. And when that is broken, as in this case, on the third bar of the three black crows pattern, the trend changes. The body size uh, that I mentioned, uh, all three bars needs to be large body bar or above uh, average. And that is um, based on the look back period defined here as reference period. We have 250 bars. And the minimum size of a large body candle in uh, this example, and by default, is set to 1.2. So you can uh, tighten it uh, or roll it back a little bit to display more or less patterns. Finally, within the uh, pattern requirement itself, three black crows here, you can uh, define the max shadow size. This is uh, by default a fraction of 0.6 of the body size uh, for this pattern displaying within that requirement. So with that, uh, I'm going to conclude uh, the uh, little intro video to the three black crows. Any questions that you may have for me, feel free to email me at info at lizardindicators.com. Otherwise, drop me a line in the contact form over at Lizard Indicators. Until then, take care and bye-bye.